Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of The Art of Gaming. We're April Gaming. I'm Tom Powers, that's Tom Roach, Matt Stevens and Jared Ryan. This is the show where we take some of the coolest art we've seen online and share it with you guys, giving some recognition to the artists who managed to basically pull off some of these pretty impressive pieces of work. And these videos are quite short, so we'll just get straight down to business, starting with Matt. What are your two pieces? We do two pieces each person each week. Yep, yeah, so my uh, first piece is called Game On by Cartoon Girl 7. Um, and basically the real main reason I chose this piece is just it. To me it's very inspirational. Just with, you know, you've got this girl, the girl walking at the front, playing a DS, but then behind is this entire world of effect, gaming, effectively, Nintendo stuff. Um, behind with all the different characters, very bright, very colourful. I just think it's an amazing piece of art. Yeah, it's really well done. Yeah. Um, and the second uh, picture is Silly from uh, The Witcher 3. Um, by Banjanowski, and this just blew my mind when I saw it. Absolutely amazing, uh, realistic drawing of Siri with just pencils. Yeah. How the fuck? Very <laughs> How do you do that? I think about the amount of time we've gone to just that. Yeah. That that could pass as digital art, I think. I, I just think the drawing. It's incredible. It, it just it blew my mind, and it blows my mind even now. And this is the fiftieth <laughs> time I've looked at it, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's very impressive. You are a yeah. fan, clearly. Yeah. I am a fan. People can do incredible stuff. Yeah. Pencils. Jab it, you're next week. Uh, right, this is Arno Liberté by Velocity. Um, pretty much I picked it because I've just, I've gone back to playing Easy Unity. Mm. Um, and this is, this almost encapsulates what I'd like the game to be, kind of gritty and dark, and it's just, it's not quite like that, but I, I really like the image. Yeah, yeah. it's really well done. Cool. I like the, uh, the way the French flag stands out against... Yeah, everything's and dark and yeah. it's got colour there, yeah, yeah, I really like that. And the other one is called Battlefront Battlefield by SK Studios. And the reason I picked this out is mainly because I couldn't find one that's based on the new cover art. But this is, I want them to come out and go, we're doing this DLC. It's quite the most, I will lap that shit up. Yeah, that would be cool. This, pretty be more, cool. this is more just, it speaks to me from that point of view. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, mine is The Last of Us by Piccolo Kun. Piccolo Kun, very well known on DeviantArt for basically doing a drawing every single day of the year last year. And he's accumulated one of the biggest view counts of the entire website and you can see why pretty much he's all of this is just done with black pen um and it's just absolutely incredible uh, really inca and, and they're all done in tiny on, the, on this tiny little booklet he does as well every single drawing um, oh it's a little booklet yeah 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 oh, every, single, every single one he does is just a tiny little notepad thing that must be um, amazing to look at going, yeah. going through that booklet <laughs> yeah fair enough uh the second piece is a destiny piece by harpia um, I think it looks incredible. I mainly chose this because although we were disappointed with Destiny, pieces of art like this remind me that the world was slash is incredible. Um, even though the game itself wasn't great, this Destiny I feel still has a lot to offer from a creative standpoint. That is, is that the uh, uh, Hunter. Weird Hunter? Yeah. It might be the Weird Hunter girl, I'm not sure, but it's definitely yeah. Hunter, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, my first submission is Red Dead Redemption, John Marston by Clouds Keeper. No, this is a painting. I really like just the um, the style of this, and if you played Red Dead, you know that the loading screen's all covered in red. I guess from the title, but I just think that it looks very. It's quite dynamic. Yeah, yeah. But Again, it, like Jamie's one, uh, obviously he's standing out. It's in the background. It just seems like it suits the, the period, yeah. and that, that's why I really like it. It encapsulates the game as well. I think. Yeah. yeah. And my final one is um, the MGS5, The Phantom Pain by Sara Sama90, a digital piece of art. Um, they've put that how they're excited that the game's coming out September 1st, so am I. Really looking forward to that. <laughs> and I yeah, just think that's, that's a really good day as well done. It just how, because it's not, it's not like photorealism, it's this sort of dynamic art style which I really like with all the shadows and stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not a huge Metal Gear fan, but that's done in the style of the, the tends to be the official Metal Gear art, where yeah. it's like just the... It's kind like of the all, not what you have. Yeah. 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 No, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Alright, so that's it for this week's set of submissions, guys. All the links to the artists will be in the description below, so please go check them out, and uh, if you're not supporting them already, please do, on behalf of Avery Gaming. And uh, if you're watching this and you happen to be an artist, do submit stuff to our Apric Gaming group on DeviantArt. We'll probably leave that in the description below yes. as well. Uh, so yeah, but that's it for this week's Art of Gaming, guys. Please subscribe and leave a comment if you like these uh, pictures. 
And yeah, just keep coming back for more. Until next time, guys. Goodbye.